Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back to show some more plunder that I've acquired over the last little while. Got another nice stack of reissues here from Doom to Obscurity. Uh, of course, I uh, did a video on this label a little while back. They specialize in reissuing obscure demos and EPs of death metal bands that have long been split up or possibly changed names. Uh, which there's actually, I think, a couple in here that have that uh, uh, situation where they change their name. But uh, I have found a lot of cool bands uh, through this label. Uh, and one thing you got to remember, though, when you're going into these releases is that, you know, it's not like today where, you know, a, band, a guy can do like, you know, an entire demo or an EP in his bedroom and have it sound like he did it in a huge studio. We're talking about bands, you know, from the early to mid 90s, maybe a little bit later in some instances that, you know, they worked with what they had. Maybe they didn't have access to, you know, a greater studio or the greater technology or the technology wasn't around to make it sound as good as it does today. So some of these are going to have some issues. Some of them are going to have, you know, be a little bit rawer than you might like, or, you know, there's going to be some production issues. You're just kind of, man, why couldn't they have done better? But you're talking about bands, like I said, that are working with what they had at the time and doing the best that they could. And there's several bands, especially not only in the last video that I talked about, but definitely in this one that you're like, man, why did they not make it bigger? Why are they not still around? Why didn't somebody pick them up and then get bigger? So, yeah, I'm just going to kick things off. This first one, I know I showed this in a collection update a long time ago. Um where I got this as a freebie from Comatose Music, but this is Carnal Decimate with Existence Mutilated. Yeah, these guys were a uh, brutal death metal band out of Salt Lake City, Utah, active between 1993 and 1997. This is their lone uh, two-track demo, originally put out by Sutek Productions uh, in 1995 on tape, limited to 250 copies. Uh, Doomed to Obscurity reissued this back in 2022, limited to 300 copies. And this is an absolute banger, in my opinion. Thick bass, it's not too high up, yet easily heard throughout. I love the drum production on these songs. Uh, lots of good patterns, rolls, and fills. Love the double bass work. Um, love the blast beats when they actually do use them. He doesn't use them as often as you would think for being brutal death metal. Uh, kind of crunchy, old school st uh, death metal style guitars. They're not overly polished, though. Very thrashy sounding, but with some kind of slow chugs and grooves and absolutely killer solos. Uh, vocally, you could get uh, uh, kind of like a Barney Greenway style growl mixed with these almost uh, Glenn Benton s screams uh, at times. But yeah, this was really solid. And like I said, one of those bands that I wish had still been around and actually gotten a little bit bigger than what they actually did. Next up, this band, I liked this, but there was definitely a few issues I wish they had fixed before putting this out because it would have been even better in my opinion. But this is Gore Stench with Stench of the Dead. Uh, Brutal Death Metal out of France, active between 1998 and 2001. This is their lone demo, put out by the band originally in 1999 on tape, limited to 50 copies. Uh, this 2023 reissue is limited to 300 copies. Um, you know, like I said, there were some, definitely some issues with here on here. I mean, the bass is thick and fuzzy, easily heard, though sometimes I've noticed that the fuzz on the bass kind of cuts in and out, so I don't know if it was just a what happened there, how they couldn't keep it that way, if that's the tone they were really wanting. Uh, the drums definitely have that dying fetus uh, style snap to the snare. The kicks sound a little odd, though, to me, and they are definitely a bit forward in the mix to me. You know, he does do some nice double bass work and an overall performance, but those kicks definitely needed to be changed because they just, like I said, they were a little too forward in the mix for me, and they had a little odd sound to them. Uh, the guitars are heavy yet unpolished, again, with that thrashy old-school style death metal uh, riffing mid to fast pace with some nice head bangable grooves and solos and then the vocals that's another area of contention for me i mean you got these low range growls that you know sound really good to me but he relies a little bit too much on effects you know kind of he pitch shifts him to the point he sounds like dissector from ghoul which is fine don't get me wrong if you're a, you know in a gore grind band like you know pharmacist or you're in a multi-vocalist band and that's your shtick and you're gonna that separates you out from the other two or whatever that's fine but when you're just a straight up death metal band or a straight up brutal death metal band like this, relying on that for your entire vocal performance is kind of unnecessary in my opinion. Now, if you wanted to do it to do like a highlight a certain part or whatever, accentuate a part, cool, whatever. But do you know, if you've already got a good enough vocal style, you don't need to pitch shift it to hell and overdo it, which I think is what he did here. But um, other than that, though, I thought this was good if they'd have just, you know, did a little bit better on some of those little areas. 
<laughs> this one, despite having a kind of odd name for a band, is actually really, really fucking good. And I actually had a bit of a surprise uh, whenever I was looking up information on this band for this video. But this is Hot Stove with The Corpse Turns Sour. And who doesn't hate it when their corpse turns sour? But yeah, this band actually went on to be called Waco Jesus. Yes, that Waco Jesus. And I was very shocked when I learned that because this, compared to what Waco Jesus is known for, two totally different styles. So they definitely went on to a more extreme style as soon as they uh, quit calling themselves Hot Stove. But yeah, this is their debut demo put out by the band originally in 1993. This came out in uh, 2023. I um, don't remember if there, what the limitation was on this one off the top of my head. But yeah, this is really freaking good. You know, the bass is thick toned, easily heard despite not being too high up in the mix. Great drum production and performance. I really love the double bass work on this uh, demo. Uh, thrashy, old school style death metal guitars. You know, drive this with some fast paced, you know, riffing with a little bit of, you know, mid paced gallops and grooves at times. And, you know, they kind of have a bit of an early death vibe as well at times. Uh, then we get into track number six, Souls at War. I really love that heavy groove about a minute and 37 seconds into that song with the bass rumbling away and just some nice double bass work underneath of it. And then we get into the follow up track, Rise of Satan. I love the intro to that song with that thick bass is accompanied by a very simplistic drum beat then the guitars kick in with a really chunky riff about eight seconds into the song and then they go into this nice you know absolutely killer groove right after that uh vocally you get a um kind of gruff deathly style you know yell or shout you no know, not so much growls but you also get these absolutely insane sounding screams added to it as well at times um now bonus tracks on here is actually the band's demo from 95 just simply titled demo 95 and you can definitely see a slight dip in production but nothing too you know uh, too drastic, I think. The bass is still thick. Uh, now with just a little bit of a twang to it, the drums are still killer. Uh, guitar still sounding killer, though a little bit clearer production-wise without losing any of the heft that they have. Uh, in fact, this actually starts with an absolutely heavy-as-fuck groove to get the head banging right away as soon as that demo starts. Uh, vocally, you get the same style as before, though now he actually throws in some more traditional-style growls as well, mixes those in. But yeah, this is an absolutely killer CD. Go check this one out. Next up, Execration with Excreted Guts. Death metal band out of uh, Glendale, Arizona, active between 1991 and I'm not exactly sure. There's nothing on the archives, but the band is listed as being split up. And this is a uh, compilation of both of their demos. Uh, came out in 2023, limited to 300 copies. Uh, starting with their uh, 1991 demo, Excreting Guts. Uh, right off the bat, the bass makes, it, bass makes its presence known. It's thick and twangy with a little bit of a warble to it. And it's right up in the mix and in your face. Uh, the drums have a really tight snap to the snare. I love the kick drum sound on there. Lots of nice patterns, rolls, and fills. Great double bass and blast beats. Uh, the guitars definitely have that old school death metal sound to them. Mid to fast pace. Um, though at times it seems like the bass and the drums kind of threaten to overpower uh, the guitars just a little bit by coming forward in the mix and spots. It's not a total, you know, the whole thing, but there are definitely certain spots where you're listening to this where that definitely seems like they're starting to come a little forward in the mix and kind of overpowering the guitars just a little bit. Uh, and then, you know, topping it off, you get some powerful mid-range growls. Uh, when you get into track number four, though, Fiendish Max, at about a minute and two in, they actually add this really cool effect to his vocals to kind of give him that kind of underwater and warbly effect that I thought sounded really cool. But, um, yeah, pretty cool demo overall. Then you get into, you know, the notes here. Got several pages here. But uh, you get into their 1992 demo, Meat. Uh, straight off, the production on this one sounds different. It's kind of got a bit of a raw, more raw feel to it. Uh, the drum production has definitely improved. Um, faster paced, but still with lots of nice pattern rolls and fills, double bass and blast beats. The bass is still thick, but without that warble effect to it. And actually has a lot of a uh, kind of a bit of a Alex Webster-ish feel to it, I think. And it definitely sits higher in the mix too, which I like. Uh, the guitars still have that same crunchy 
tone as before. Uh, slightly cleaner sounding though on this demo. Uh, then when you get into the title track, track number nine, Meat, uh, there's an absolutely killer solo with some great use of the whammy bar at about a minute and 27 into that song. Um, the vocals definitely sound stronger on that second demo. Still mid-range, though now they remind me a little bit of uh, Trevor Sternad's guest spot on um, the lead-off track to VHS's uh, album in uh, I Heard They Suck Blood. If you've ever heard that song, uh, that's basically how this guy sounds. He definitely has a Trevor Sternad-ish uh, quality to him. Um, I would have to say that Meat is probably my favorite of the two demos on this compilation. You know, even with that slightly raw production, you know, the sound overall is way better, I think. And I think the band sounds tighter overall. So I definitely enjoyed both of them. But I think Meat definitely gets the nod from me. Next up, Unearth with Concentrated Misery. Death metal band out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, active between 1991 and 1996. This is a compilation of both of their demos, put out last year, limited to 500 copies, though it is weird because they actually have them in reverse order here. You have the 1995 demo first, and then the 94 demo. Why? I don't know, but I digress. Uh, first up, we have, I have to look at the thing here, Spill the Plagues, because I forgot to write down the full titles like a dummy. But uh, yeah, this is the band's second demo put out by the band in 1995 on tape originally. Uh, really solid stuff. Thick tone bass, easily heard throughout. It's not too high up in the mix. Really solid drumming with some good patterns, rolls, and fills. Love the double bass and the blast beats on there. Um, Though there's moments the snare gets a little bit buried in the mix by the guitars, especially during the blast beats. They just seem like a little lower in the mix. And it has moments where you almost don't even hear them at all. Um, though I love the guitar tone on this demo. It has a lot of a, like a bit of a deicide or early death vibe to it, I think. Thrashy and old school style death metal with some nice head bangable grooves and solos. And they're topped off by these gruff lower register re, lower register sorry it's been a long day though not quite guttural vocals and then if you actually go back to the debut demo which is the latter half of this cd again put out by the band on tape in 1994 the bass is still thick on that demo albeit a little bit higher up in the mix uh, we get into track number nine artist of the flesh at about a minute and 52 into that song it actually gets a solo moment to kind of give you a sense of that tone that it has and kind of shine before the rest of the band joins and settles into an absolutely killer groove at 157 uh, we have a different drummer in that instance and here the snare could actually be heard a little bit better in the mix on that demo so it seems like between the two demos they definitely had some issues with the snare production uh still killer guitars uh still nice and thrashy old school death metal style with some nice whammy led solos and just absolutely killer vocals topping everything off uh definitely one i would recommend checking out for sure all right Next up, this one was actually a surprise for me because he just kind of threw this in my uh, order that I got, and I thought it was really cool. Um, and this is actually a promo copy of a release that he's thinking about doing. Um, whether it happens or not, it remains to be seen. Hopefully it does because this is actually pretty good. Uh, but this is Arcane with Seasons of Aggression. Yeah, and these guys were a death metal band out of East Bay Area, California. Not exactly sure when they were active because there was nothing on the archives, though they are listed as being split up. And it was interesting to find out that this actually featured uh, former Circle to Circle guitarist Mark Pattinson, Mark Pattinson excuse me, on bass and drum programming. So that was pretty interesting. But yeah, this is their lone demo originally put out by the band themselves in 1997 on tape. Um... And yeah, I love the bass tone on this thing. It is thick and heavy right up in the mix, making its presence known. Uh, the drums definitely sound like a machine. There's no getting around that. It doesn't really do anything flashy. It kind of has that, you know, leprosy feel to it, which if you've heard Death's Leprosy, you know the drum style I'm talking about. Uh, but it does have some kind of fast double bass flourishes. It's a fast little cymbal work every now and then. Uh, slightly dirty and crunchy guitars definitely drive both of these songs. They're mid-paced. Uh, and, you know, definitely has some nice head bangable grooves in there. But also, they have a lot of faster, almost tremolo style riffs thrown in at times as well. Uh, vocally, you get powerful lower register growls and screams. Um, then when you get into, you know, one thing I definitely noticed, you definitely get a production shift from track to track, from track one to track two. Um, 
you know, you notice that the drums kind of do a bit more in terms of like double bass work and, and rolls and fills and not just the leprosy beat, but also you notice in the second track, which is entitled uh, Disaffection, it seems more polished than the first track with the bass still easily heard yet kind of stepping back slightly in the mix. So it kind of odd that they have a little bit of a shift in production values and that and overall playing style between the two tracks. Definitely noticeable, but still, I thought this was still pretty good. Hopefully this actually gets a full release and the full treatment. All right. Last two here. This in these are the most recent releases by uh doomed to obscurity and both are absolutely killer in my opinion first up we have umbilical strangulation with necrology yeah uh let me see here sorry i couldn't read my notes <laughs> Uh, Death Metal out of Long Island, New York, active between 1994 and 1997. Like I said, this just came out this year, limited to 500 copies. Uh, starting things off, you have Disruptive Abortion, which is uh, their debut demo put up by the band in 1996 on tape. And a uh, really solid demo, I think. Thick bass, easily heard throughout. Solid drums with a good snap to the snare. I love the kicks. Really good patterns, rolls, and fills. Love the double bass and the blast beats on there. Uh, again, more old school style death metal guitars fast and thrashy but it does slow down a bit for those chuggy headbangable grooves uh, a couple things i picked out you get into track three infanticide i love the opening groove to that song with that nice double bass underneath switching to a fast tremolo picked riff at about 32 seconds in then when you get about 245 into the song that riff that comes in and it happens again at about 255 definitely has a bit of a mayhem feel to it i think and then the following track track four fetal death that opening groove definitely has a lot of cannibal corpse feel to it i thought uh vocally you get you know kind of a gruff deathly shout and growl but yeah really love that demo I need to switch pages here then you get 1997 sexually mutilated and uh, yeah this is their second demo uh and right off the bat, the bass seems higher up now in the mix and has a little bit of more of a twang to it. The drums still sound killer, you know, laying down these solid beats with some nice double bass and bass or blast beats. God, I cannot talk today. I apologize. Um, the guitars definitely seem slightly less polished here, and it also has a bit more of a tendency to do the fast paced riffing as opposed to the you know mid paced stuff. It definitely has the mid paced and slower chuggy sections and grooves, but they seem less prominent on here. Uh, vocally though, he seems like he's either doing a low growl underneath of it and they're layering it, or there's doing some kind of effect on the vocals. They just sound completely different and you know odd to me on that second demo. And you know honestly, both of these are good. For what they are and they definitely could have flowed well as a full length album if not for those slight production issues like basically what i would have done is kept everything from disruptive abortion except take the bass tone from sexually mutilated and at, you know put that in its place and you would have had an absolutely killer album but yeah definitely one to go be checking out and last but most certainly not least probably my favorite of the two or of the group, I should say. That is Pugilist with their 1994 demo. Death Metal out of Colorado, active between 1993 and 1995. This is their lone demo originally put out by the band in 1994, limited to 50 copies. Uh, the basis of this band actually would go on to be in Cephalic Carnage from 1998 until 1999, though it didn't appear on anything despite the band releasing a full length and a split in 98 and another split in 99, so he must have right in between everything but yeah this right here is just pure raw old school style death metal fast and thrashy guitars get the head banging but you also get these slower chug sections and nice head bangable grooves thick rumbly bass makes its presence known laying down a solid backbone throughout this entire thing i love the drums lots of cool patterns rolls and fills and again great double bass and blast beats all over this thing vocally you get a powerful mid-range growl backed by these absolutely maniacal screams from the guitarist if you check out anything just even just one out of this entire stack definitely give this one a go because this is absolutely amazing it's probably my favorite out of all that i've shown here though all these i enjoyed to one extent or another so yeah that is gonna do it thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and until next time stay brutal